Also, being in prep means I don't wash my hair very often, so just ignore that. Hi guys, it is Thursday, March 31st. I haven't done a bikini update in a while. I've been crazy busy between shows and as most of you know, I do work full time. Rex always knows just when to join the party. <laughs> but yeah, I've been really busy. I've been trying to keep up with my three videos a week the best that I can. But a lot has changed since I've done my last show on Saturday as far as plans and what's coming next, where I'm going, yada yada. So when I originally started this prep, I started it for a show on April 30th. It is called The Derby. It's a big, big show down in Louisville, and that was kind of like the end-all, be-all of this prep season. The other two shows were kind of like warm-up shows, and I was going to use them as practice going into the Derby. After doing the last two shows, the first one was a non-natural NPC show. The second show was a natural NPC show, and I learned a lot about the difference between the two shows. And the knowledge that I gained over the past couple weeks from doing both shows caused me to change my end goal. So now instead of having the Derby as my last show, I am now doing the Indie Natural, which is in Indianapolis, and it is April 16th. It is two and a half weeks away from today. I'll get into why a little bit. Um, if you watch both vlogs, you'll see the difference. You can see it for yourself. My class in the first show, the girl that won bikini, could have won physique in my second show. It's just a totally different ball game. A lot of those athletes in the first show were very well seasoned and it wasn't a natural show, it wasn't drug tested. I'm not saying that they are or were on anything, I'm just saying that it wasn't drug tested. And the difference in athletes was extremely noticeable. The second show, Bikini looked like what bikini should look like in my opinion. I felt more comfortable backstage. The type of people were different. I felt more comfortable on stage. And I'm not discrediting the first show that I did because I really did enjoy it and I did meet some really awesome girls. But just the feel of the show was very different backstage at both shows. The first one, it was a lot of talk about things like who your plastic surgeon was, <laughs> who your coach was. Um, and I mean, there was a little bit of that the second show, but it was nothing like, it was not, it just was very, very different and I really preferred the feel of the second show. Also with the natural show, the women that I met were just amazing women. They really accomplished huge things throughout their prep. One woman I met, lost 70 pounds to step on stage um, and another one I mean they were all awesome but another one actually made goodie bags for the competitors and I just it blew me away especially after being at the show that I was at the week before it's just something I had never expected anybody that competed to do it was so heartfelt and so genuine. She had like a poem in there with like, it was hand sanitizer, Lenny and Larry's cookie. It was just like, it was so sweet and it really just made me appreciate being in a show with those type of people. Now, like I said, I met awesome girls the first show too. A couple of them I hope to keep in contact with for sure, but it was just a different feel. And backstage at the second show, I mentioned this in my vlog, there were dressing rooms and one was for women and one was for men. So you were just in the back of behind the stage like in a big mass like the first show so I really liked that as well my show preference has nothing to do with how I placed at all if I didn't place in the second show I still would have preferred the experience that being said I learned so much from both shows both were a totally different experience and I'm really really glad that I did both because it helped me to decide where I wanted to go in the future so Long story short, sorry, this is going to be a long-winded video. I kind of have a lot to say. Um, I am switching up my show from the Derby to the Indie Natural, 
and I'm really excited for it. It's going to be my last show of the season, and then I'm going to go into my improvement season and hopefully put on a good amount of muscle, and then the plan is to do shows again in the fall, and I'm just so excited for everything that's to come post like show season because I've been dieting you guys have seen for a long time and I'm ready to put on some more mass all right so physique update I will put some pictures progress pictures in from this Monday I'm not gonna run through the whole gamut I'm just gonna show you my progress pictures post show this was post cheat meal We went out as a group. My sisters surprised me at my show and we went out after the two of them and my husband Chris to BJ's which is like I feel like the most like quintessential spot for competitors to go after a show and I know why it's because the menu is so insanely extensive you can literally get anything you want. So my one sister got like a little six inch pizza, pizza. the other one got a um bison burger. I got a grilled chicken salad with like candied walnuts and gorgonzola cheese and we all shared all three items. So it was a really good way to like have a little bit of a splurge but keep it kind of reeled in and keep it responsible and it was so amazing and so satisfying and then we all shared a pizuki. So yes, I splurged but also, I today hit a new low. So that was Saturday. I put on four pounds overnight because I did water cut for my show. So the next day I was up four pounds, but today is Thursday and I hit stage weight without water cutting today and that's so exciting. And it just means I'm gonna come in leaner for my last show, which is what I wanted to do. Um, my last show was kind of like the end date of prep when I started prep that's what the date that I was starting prep for it was April 30th now it's April 16th so I cut down my time a couple weeks so I'm hoping that I come in significantly leaner for this show in two weeks busting my butt my hit cardio is up to seven days a week but instead of 15 minute sessions I'm doing 10 minute hit sessions with a 10 minute list session afterwards I'm still doing my three 55 minute steady state list sessions um, fasted in the morning although I have added five grams of my MCT oil to my coffee while I am doing that 55 minute list session just because it's anabolic and it's muscle sparing and I'm really really kicking up the intensity of my cardio sessions so I want to have something and not just going completely fasted. You could also do that with like BCAAs or something. But the fat keeps me in a like more fasted state because I am eating very, very low carb now. So I'm up to 35 grams of MCT oil per day. And I look forward to it. I love it. And if you watch, I'm filming today a full day of eating. So I show the brand and everything that I use in that video, which will be up in a couple days. In my last video, I talked about some of the feedback I got from the judges. I did try to get the purple out of my hair, which turned it pink, but I'm not going to dye it anymore because it might actually fall out of my head if I keep trying to get it out. So I'm just going to leave it, and if they don't like it, sorry. It's what it is. If I don't place because I have a little bit of color in my hair, then I don't even know if I want to be doing that show because that just doesn't make sense to me. So I also got new shoes. These were the shoes that I wore for my past two shows. Uh, a lot of you guys have commented on the platform. Yes, I agree, these are not ideal show shoes because of that platform, but if you watched any of my previous videos about like my fitness journey or whatever in my past, I had major ankle surgery, so having a shoe that has the heel this high without the platform really messes with my ankle. My ankle actually doesn't really bend that well to fit a shoe like that, which is why I ended up going with the platform um, because I could actually walk in them. <laughs> but I got new shoes and the heel is actually the same size as you can see. 
Um, it's just without the platform. So it's, I mean, obviously the heel's not the same size, but like where it hits the ground would be because there's no platform on these. So yeah, they're teeny tiny little heels, but I'm tall enough, it doesn't really matter. And they were equally as comfortable as these. And I walk a little bit better with some more control in them. So looking back, I wish I would have got these at first. They are the four inch Ellie heel. Um, if you're interested in them, I will link them down below. And if you have a hard time walking in those like six inch regular heels, because the other ones are flat like this at the bottom, but the heel is equally as tall as this. So you can see the bend that you'd have to have in your ankle to make that work. And for me, it's just not gonna happen. So this was a good alternative to these. And they're dainty and they're cute. I feel like less of a hooker in them. So I've been liking posing and practicing in these and we'll see how they work out on my next show. I also think I might try to wear my hair straight for my next show. I was talking to a friend who also competes and she was saying, you know, like what a trend straight hair is this year. And I'm wearing the same suit. So I thought I'd change up my look a little bit for the third show and go with straight hair. Diet is the same as the last few weeks. I am eating zero starchy carbs, vegetables in three to four meals, depending on the serving size of vegetables. If I keep it smaller, I can have it through four meals. And then um, basically I'm eating either three servings of fish with a vegetable, two servings of egg whites, and a serving of whey protein, or four servings of fish, a serving of egg whites, and a serving of whey protein. And then I will, just like last time, cut out that whey the last week and have four servings of fish, two servings of egg whites. So that's what the diet's looking like, keeping it as simple as possible. Vegetables, I'm trying to, for at least this and next week, work in a fermented vegetable every day. So I've been having sauerkraut with one meal just to help my digestion, help my gut flora, um, because I'm not eating a ton of food right now. I think that fermented foods are really helpful when your calories are lower because you're not getting quite as much fiber. So one meal is with a fermented food and the rest is pretty much asparagus. I'm keeping it simple vegetable wise. I can eat a lot of volume in asparagus in comparison to something else like broccoli. So I've been eating a lot of asparagus and I really enjoy it. And it's spring and it's in season, so it's cheap right now. So take advantage of that. But I think that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Look out this weekend for a full day of eating. And if there's anything that you think that I should have touched on that I might have missed in this video, comment down below. And I always respond to your comments 99% of the time, especially on my most recent video. I think it's really important to get back to you guys. So if you have any questions about competing so far or you know, like why I changed my show or whatever, feel free to ask in the comments and I am happy to answer. If you guys wanna see a bikini competition Q&A video where the questions would come directly from you guys, give this video a thumbs up and leave your question down below and I'll do a whole video if I get enough questions. I will do a whole video on it instead of just answering each individual question because then I can help more people by having an entire video so that everyone can see the answers. So if that's something you're interested in, thumbs up the video, leave your comment below, and I'll make that video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.